Question 7B, a triangle has sides with lengths 7, 24, and 25. Approximate the acute angles in this triangle to the nearest degree. So this is the same triangle that we're working with in the previous question or the previous part of this question. And so we know that this is a right triangle. And so we know that we have a 7, a 24, and a 25. And so we just have to figure out, we know that this is 90. We know that these two are going to have to add up to 90, but we kind of have to use them to figure out what the angle measures are first, or we have to use these side lengths to figure out. So we'll just call this one x for now. So if I was going to use um, trig functions to figure out what x is, I need to kind of use this table because we haven't used, we haven't figured out how to do this quite yet um, with our calculator. So it's still going to be an approximation. Um, if I am using this angle, then this side over here is the opposite, and this side is the adjacent, and we have our hypotenuse across from the 90. So if I wanted to find this, I can either do the tangent, I can do the sine, or I can do the cosine. It just depends on what you like best. So we'll do the cosine. So we'll do cosine of some angle is equal to 7 over 25 because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So if I take 7 divided by 25, not what I wanted to do, 7 divided by 25, it's approximately 0.28, or I guess it's exactly 0.28. So we're gonna look in this adjacent divided by hypotenuse column and we're gonna look for 0.28, which it's not in here, but it's going to be somewhere between 70 and 80. And it looks like it's probably gonna be a smidge closer to 70 than it is to 80. So we'll just go with like 76 here. Okay, now if this is 76, then that means that the other angle has to add up to 90 with it. And so 76, 14 would be um, the complementary angle to a 76 degree angle. So our two angles would be approximately 76 and 14. 